everybody, this is McKenna Zaster. Welcome to the first part of my gameplay of Donkey Kong 64. This is one of the first games I ever played, so really special to me, but I will shut it up so you can listen to the DK rap. Kinda cringe, but <laughs> I don't know. It's also kinda charming in its own way. Which, I don't know, charming is the perfect thing to describe Rare in its games. So, especially during this time. <sighs> Unfortunately, this was near the end of their legacy. Eh, you guys have probably all heard this crappy rap before. I always kind of like the DKTV. Alright, so starting off fresh with a familiar face if you're familiar with the Donkey Kong franchise. It's the parrot, Squawks! But apparently, there are multiple parrots that look exactly the same as Squawks. Maybe they're his children? We do not know their story. <sighs> but, I'll be quiet so you can enjoy the cutscene. Beauty and wonder of DK Isles in direct contrast with the dark and gloomy. The game is going a bit slowly, but building anticipation for the win. Dark and gloomy crocodile isle. I believe. K rule is ship, whatever you want to call it. Crocodile Isle in Donkey Kong Country 2 looks different, but I think it's called the same thing in this game, so. Shenanigans ensuing. <sighs> we have our villain looking like someone out of James Bond. Sound like Darth Vader. <laughs> yes, whack the control panel with your head. That'll certainly be a good choice. Backing up like a big truck would. <laughs> we has hit a boulder. Mission abort. Wherever they were trying to head in the first place. Taking care of business. <laughs> I hope for your sake. 
It's the man or the ape of the hour. Squawk! DK, DK, come quickly! They're gone! They're all gone! Work! <sighs> I hope you liked voice acting because that's the most you're gonna get of it in this game. Before I leave here, two little cool Easter eggs. Dolphin, which is what the GameCube was originally going to be called, and a little piece of the um, uh, reference to the Donkey Kong arcade game. The red piece there. I cannot remember the name for that kind of building piece. I'm not a person who works in construction. <laughs> I can't remember the name. It's fine. You recognize it by sight. Squawk! Your precious banana horde and all the other cons have vanished! I can't find them anywhere, DK! You'd better go and tell Cranky the bad news! Bork! I apologize, my voiceovers are crappy. But, hey, you get decent voices. Maybe not too varied, but. Going in here, you'll get three banana coins. <laughs> so, yeah. The tutorial is going to be fairly simple, but we should see Cranky, like Squawx told us to do. Cranky's lab. Well, if it isn't my lazy, good-for-nothing son. Lost your gold bananas again? Hey, where might your fleeping friends be? You don't know, do you? I thought you'd be able to smell the work of a reptile by now. Lucky for you, old Cranky's batch of homemade potions will give you all the skills you need for your silly 3D quest. But you're not having any until you've completed my training barrels. Now buzz off and come back when you've done them all. <laughs> Loving father, everybody. Er, yeah, father. What did Cranky mean about training? Donkey all confused. So now, for the training, yay! We cannot progress until the game says, do your mandatory tutorial. So, the first part is swimming, aka the bane of my existence in this game. <sighs> swimming is not a good time, mostly because, well, bleh. It's trying to collect things underwater and being like, having to move your character around and line things up in a decent manner that can get annoying. And now, we're throwing orange grenades. Yes, this game has orange grenades! This was the stuff you could get away with in the 90s, folks. It's fruit, so it's fine. It's a kid's game, it's fruit. It's not actual grenades, right? Alright, and then we have our next mechanic, throwing barrels. This actually doesn't come into play too much, but it is important for later in the game. We encounter bosses. Even then, it's not consistent, but I will get to that when I get to that. Yeah, it's a long ways away. There we go. Now, for the last one, we have swinging on vines. And climbing, but eh, climbing's fairly straightforward. You jump. Honestly, this is. You jump, and you can turn directions, and then gain momentum, and bada bing, bada boom. Yay. So, those are our basic controls for now. Very basic ones. Squawk! Hurry, DK! Go and get that potion from Cranky! Let's get going! Work! Alright, so back we go to our quite supportive father. Wonder what he has to say that we miraculously completed his training barrels. 
Hmm. You took your time. Donkey, don't go rest it and did it? Here, drink this. Simeon's lamb, Buddhist Bagium. The quote unquote scientific names for his potions. Right. You and your missing buddies will be able to slam the ground by pressing A to jump, and then Z whilst in the air. It should get you out of this area. Oh, one more thing. I got a real treat for you, but only if you bring me 15 banana medals. I think they look like this. I'll see you later if you're lucky. Great. Let's get out of here. I may come back to this area for the dirt patches that are in here. But again, those won't really be significant until we unlock a certain character. So now we can grab on these, AZ, and yeah. They start off as green. And I say start off because we will encounter more later. Alright, our homeland. Squawk, he's back, DK. King K. Rolls Island is just over there. He must be the one who stole your bananas and kidnapped the other Kongs. I've taken a quick look around, but the only area that hasn't been blocked off is an island with a cave on it over there. Blark! A very interesting island. And one of the first mechanics. Find a similar numbered pad in the same area and press Z to banana port between the two. So yes, a banana port, like you said, you find, so you go from 1 to 5, and we will go, I'll show how it works, quickly. go over to this island here, and once we step on it, we can now banana port in a zippered banana-like fashion to go from one area to the other. Very convenient when you find them. Very useful. Alright, now we're getting into the meat of the story. If the opening cutscene didn't really do that already. Boo hoo hoo! Oh hi, my name's Kay Lumsey, and I've been locked in here because I wouldn't smash up some little island. But how could I? Such a lovely little island, full of cute monkeys. So I said no. K. Rule says I'm too soft to be a Kremlin, and I'm to stay in here until I've toughened up. Ugh, I'll do anything to be free again. Hey, little monkey. Perhaps you could help poor old Kalumzi escape? I'll go on. I'll be your bestest friend. Yes, Donkey will help Kalumzi. So, yeah, he was locked in here because he wouldn't smash up DK Isles. So, thanks for that, bud. But also, poor guy. <laughs> Big guy. I'm assuming he's the heart of gold, dumb of ass stereotype. <sighs> Seems like it. Oh, K. Lumsy's so happy now! But K. Rule's taken the keys to this cage and given them to the biggest and most feared soldiers in his army. If you manage to get hold of any keys, please bring them back here to open my locks. Don't tell K. Rule, though. That has to be our little secret. So, we gotta find bosses. And that's how we'll get the keys. And there's eight keys that we will need to collect to free him. And now, as we go in here, first of many collectibles, the golden banana. Your main collectible. Yeah. Alright, so I think I'm gonna stop it here for the time being, and I will pick up next time when we enter the lobby and enter Jungle Japes for the first time. So until then, take care guys. 